So I'm trying to get the van back to running. It stalled the other day and I got it home, but it wouldn't start the next day. Um, thought it was an injector problem and I know the injectors were worn uh, or maybe a short in the under valve cover harness. So I went ahead and swapped those out and uh, you can see my other video on that. The uh, new injectors are awesome. They're in and the van fired up within like 20 seconds. First try cranking with the new injectors, glow plugs, under valve cover harness and wiring but one side wasn't firing at all. So I did some continuity checks on the wiring. Now I don't really know what I'm doing with that, but I followed some other YouTube videos and I got a uh, reasonable, like a just under spec resistance on all eight injectors. So I think I'm getting good uh, continuity on the wires to the injectors. And I showed open circuits uh, no resistance on the grounds, which is what I am supposed to see, I believe. So the only thing I can think is that it's the IDM. So I'm going to swap that out. I uh, got one from Full Force Diesel. They had them in stock and uh, got some next day shipping because I'm trying to get back on the road in time for a trip. So hopefully that'll be here tomorrow. And today I'm going to go ahead and pull the IDM. So if you're looking at how to pull an IDM out of a Ford E series van with a 7.3, you're in the right place. Business is to disconnect the batteries, so I'll unhook the ground side on both the underhood battery and the under frame battery. And I like to stick some cardboard in there just to keep things from touching. And then the other one's down here. So we'll get up under there and unhook that battery as well. The IDM on a 7.3 E-Series van is located behind the coolant degas canister and down here along the sidewall. Uh, so you can see here it's hooked up to this 42 pin connector and to get that off you're going to need a 10 mil socket on that bolt right there. And I've already checked this. This is where I pinned for continuity with a multimeter to see if things were looking good. So I've already got this disconnected. And now here is the IDM. And mine is really loose. So I'm not sure, I think there's supposed to be a second bolt holding it down down below, but to get it out, I'm gonna first remove these. This one's already missing on my van, um, but I'm gonna pull the degas canister off and just scooch it to the side so I've got some room to work. Now that I got that degas container out of the way, you can really clearly see the IDM, and mine is held on with just one bolt, and I'm actually able to loosen that by hand. Uh, I think it looks to me like there should be three or four even. You can see there's another one back in there, and looks like they've all just fallen out on mine. I'm actually able to loosen that up by hand. I didn't even have to put a wrench on it. So I'm just gonna pop that out. And then that, I think we're loose. So there you have it. That's the IDM, and this one has Obviously got a little bit of water damage. Pins are dirty, but they look okay. There's a little corrosion on some of them. So I'm gonna get some deoxit and clean up the connector end. And this is getting swapped for that full force diesel. And I think I'll go to the hardware store and see if I can find some bolts so I can bolt the new one down appropriately. Because, yeah, on the bracket here, you can see there's one, two, three holes that correspond to these three. And so I'm um, just missing bolts holding it down. I'm sure the vibration did not help it over the years. I really like this stuff, Deoxit. It does a really great job of cleaning up connections. So I'm just going to get that on there and clean up the old connections and that uh, should 
help with corrosion, and then I'll get a little dielectric grease on there before I plug in the new one, but we'll let that dry really good. I got my new injector driver module from Full Force Diesel. This is a Diesel Tech of Chattanooga rebuilt IDM and sold through Full Force. I've heard some folks not have great experiences with Full Force injectors, um, but Diesel Technology of Chattanooga is the highly recommended option for IDMs and Full Force was great to work with. They shipped this thing next day to me and I had it really fast. As you can see, it's in much better condition than my old one, which uh, obviously has some problems. It's been since sitting here leaking moisture out the seals. Um, so no question in my mind that there are some significant issues with this old IDM. Uh, I'm really hopeful that plugging this new one in will solve my problems. All right, before I plug this in, I'm just gonna put a little bit of dielectric grease on the connector. I cleaned this yesterday with deoxit, and so this should make sure that the connections are all good and will stay that way. All right, putting in the new IDM, simple matter. I'm gonna plug this in here and then bolt it down to its housing. New IDM, all bolted in this time with three bolts, as opposed to the one that was barely holding it in before, and the plug is tightened up. Now it's just time to put the degas container back in and reconnect our batteries, and hopefully fire this engine. All right, everything's hooked up, and we're ready for a test. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna run an injector buzz test using Forescan and my OBD2 connector, and I am gonna use my phone for that so I won't be able to film at the same time. Wish me luck. All right, I just ran a buzz test and all eight injectors buzzed really well, so I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm still getting a uh, battery light on the dash, but that's likely because the batteries haven't been plugged in in a couple days, so hopefully that's the issue and hopefully this thing's gonna fire right up, so let's see what happens. This has been a huge stressful project for me. I'm not the greatest mechanic and I'm learning a lot as I go. And to see those injectors all firing and spouting out oil is so gratifying because this has been on my mind for months, almost a year now since I bought the van and I knew this was coming. Now it's just a matter of putting everything back together. I will still have some work to do. The turbo is a little bit worn and so I'll eventually have to rebuild the turbo and when I do that I'm going to go in and reseal the fuel bowl and clean up the engine valley but all of those projects can wait I just need the van to be running for the next month and those uh, things can wait the turbo the wheels a little chewed up but if there's no play in it and the fuel bowl it only leaks when it's real cold uh, and that's a pretty common problem so I think uh, those are all things that I can do over the summer when I have some more time and some more cash on hand anyways if this video is helpful or interesting to you please hit the like button subscribe to the channel really appreciate you all watching and look forward to the next one hopefully we're out having some fun with this van